Recycling in Massachusetts was really complicated because there were 351 municipalities with 351 different lists of what was recyclable and really tough to educate to, really tough to try to learn from uh, the resident standpoint. So the Department of Environmental Protection got together with the recycling facilities in Massachusetts and we all agreed on a list of things we want in the bin and a list of things we do not want in the bin. And that is all now together at RecycleSmartMA.org. Paper, if you can rip it, you can recycle it, is generally the word. Your mail, you do not have to take out the windows out of the envelopes anymore. Anything that comes in the Sunday paper can go into the bin, but otherwise, if you can rip it, you can recycle it. We're looking for cardboard boxes, tape is okay, the labels are okay, staples, paper clips, all of that sort of thing is okay. Plastic containers, we're looking for, if, you're, if it's plastic, we want it to be a container that you can hold in your hand with a lid. We'd like to have it come with the lid, so if it's a soda bottle, empty the soda out, put the lid back on and throw it in. Don't crunch it, please. Metal cans are great. We would love those. Please just give them a quick rinse. And we really want cans, okay? So that's, that's the key word. We're not looking for lawnmower blades or shovels. We want just cans that you ate out of or your pet ate out of. Those are the best. Wine bottles, beer bottles, we're still taking those. Items we do not want in the bin are things like single-use plastic bags and pretty much every kind of bag can go back to your grocery store where you got it. We do not want it in the recycling bin because it gets wrapped around our machinery. Definitely uh, food getting on stuff is a big problem. So if you have a glass jar of tomato sauce, please rinse it out first and drain it so that that water and that tomato sauce doesn't get all over the paper if you throw them all in the same bin together. We do not want things that have had food on them. The cups are out. When you have a paper cup for coffee, for instance, it is a multi-layered item. It has paper, but it also has a plastic layer on it so the, paper, the coffee doesn't soak into the paper, right? And we really, in recycling, we want paper, we want plastic, you know? We want different, completely different items, all paper, all plastics. The problem is that so many people would throw in the coffee, the ice, the straw, the lid, and absolutely everything with that coffee cup, so we ask for no more cups. Newly on the no list, are your gable top cartons for half and half milk, orange juice, items like that. Once again, you have that layer of paper, but it's surrounded by a layer of plastic and that makes it much harder for us to recycle. Not interested, please throw those in the trash. Clothing is a great thing to give a second life to. We do not want it in the recycling bin. We want you to go find one of those donation bins and there's plenty around town. You probably hear about recycling your electronics. We definitely don't want, do not want that in the bin, okay? That anything that has a cord on it is going to get wrapped around our machinery. Those are items are definitely to be handled specifically for e-waste, we call it. Anything with a battery or a plug. We're just hoping to make it easier. You will see across the top of RecycleSmartMA.org, you'll see that there's a list, of, there's four major categories of things we want. And if you are the sort of person who doesn't want to work too hard, that's all you need to know. If you don't see your item there, don't throw it in the recycling. If you want to know more, go to the website and there's a search bar called a Recyclopedia and that you can look up, it'll give you an answer to everything, pretty much 400 items. Go look it up and educate yourself.